Assalamu alaikum alara. My name is Conor McGregor. Nay. What makes you think I'm not on the traditional understanding of Islam? I am on the traditional understanding of Islam. Chal juta. When we fact check some of the stuff that you're saying quickly, right? As we're going to find out when we go through this one by one, bit by bit, piece by piece, then everything, like a stack of cards, breaks down in front of your very face. You see, they should really kind of uh, legalize things like marijuana because they will then cut away all that kind of nastiness and all this and allow just a very kind of uh, regulated brand to be produced for people who want it. What the hell is this? A'udhu Billah! Hair extensions are not haram. This is number one bullshit. I... What do you have to say about Halloween? Is it permissible? I believe it's permissible. I believe Thanksgiving and things like that are not haram. You're a fraud! You're a fraud! And I'll put you in your place. I don't believe it's haram to swear. Um, general, like if I said F that, <laughs> what, 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 what's the big, why would that be haram? What? What the f Can a woman wear perfumes in public? Waqar Hassan, uh, yes she can. What the hell is this? A'udhu Billah. People thought that, okay, all kind of idols, all kind of things, statues, anything based on that are haram within Islam. This demonstrates these things were not haram. Crook! Wallah, you're a crook. You are a crook. You are a crook. And you are a fraudster. And we will call every, each and every single one of you out. Wallah, he will call you out and we will catch you. I answered about tattoos previously that I don't feel that they're haram. Like lying in and of itself, if it has no harm, is not haram. <laughs> People feel the gold is just categorical haram. I would, uh, some ulama felt that it wasn't. Uh, it was either makru based on it being uh, to kind of keep people away from that luxury. And that's what I'm in line with. I, I'm in line with these kind of ulama on this man. This is number one bullshit. I At first, I just thought he was mentally handicapped. But upon closer inspection, I concluded that he was just a victim of anencephaly. That's right. Being born with part of a brain. The remainder I have concluded, in my professional opinion, is filled with poo. That's right. Now, before you guys say, yo, there must be something worse than that. Hang on just a minute, yeah? I've got proof. You can meet somebody in public and you can chat to them and you can get to know them. People say, oh, you're going to flirt. But that's natural you're going to flirt. Do you're going to flirt. That's like, what else are you going to do? <laughs> it is permissible, okay? It's not haram. <laughs> Masturbation is not haram. I've been asked about oral sex and I've been asked about anal sex. The thing is that according to the school of Medina, when a couple are behind closed doors, <laughs> it's all a green light zone. Some people ask if oral sex is also permissible. Well, I don't mind you're asking this question because, as a matter of fact, youth now started asking those questions. Mm. Uh, so when, when I have a reference and when I have a text, I will throw it at you and I say, this is haram. Like mm. when you just spoke about anal sex and said, no, this is absolutely forbidden. There is no reference in this regard, but it is something to many people disgusting. Mm. Okay? So, if you avoid it, that is definitely better. Mm -hmm. In addition to, this is one of the easiest way of transmitting diseases. Mm -hmm. So this is also a medical reason to avoid it. But is there a reference or a text which says 
it is haram? No, there is not. His second question was about oral sex. And I cannot go into details, of course, but let it be known that in our religion, it is prohibited for a person to touch his private parts while urinating. It is prohibited to cleanse and purify yourself with your right hand after answering the call of nature, whether urinating or defecating. And the scholars say that this is obvious because Allah honors the right. The left hand is to be used for dirty things. So the right is honored in Islam. Now, I ask you a question. Which is more honored? Your right hand that you eat with or your mouth that you say the shahada with, that you recite the Quran with, that you say the name of Allah Azza wa Jal with, to be used in such filthy things that we did not learn except from the kafir. Even the dogs may not, may not do this, the, the animals. So the, one should refrain from such filthy things. Listen to me. We have the evidences. You don't believe? Wallahi, we have the evidence. We saw it with our eyes. Don't mess around. Don't play our games. You see, there's no such thing as a haram hacker. Hiba, in my opinion, no, music is not haram. What advice do I give to non-Muslim, sorry, to converts about, non, about their non-Muslim parents? Just, I would say, don't, I personally say, don't preach to them. That's my personal thing. I'm not into this preaching culture. People say, yeah, but Stephen Hawking's never accepted God. Of course he didn't. Let's be honest. Wallahi, let's be honest for a moment. We would not accept Islam if we were, were not born Muslim. Let's be honest. I would never, I would, I don't instruct people around me to to pray. For example, I would never instruct my wife or instruct somebody say, "Oh, you haven't prayed dhuhr. Get up and pray dhuhr." So we're chucking out a huge chunk of Muslims every day, uh, and then we're obsessed about bringing in new Muslims. Why? Why, why do you want to bring in, why do you want to bring them into this mess? Say, Ashad, I converted people to Islam. Honestly, what good is that? What, what is there for these people once they convert to Islam? Nothing. There's nothing for Muslims, let alone them. You know, can nobody is there for these people. What's your opinion on Dawah guys in the UK? I think uh, it's, a, it's a tragedy. I honestly believe we shouldn't be giving Dawah, like, enough... Uh, did Jesus actually speak in the cradle? Says who? He spoke in the cradle. Because you're going by the understanding he was a little baby and he spoke in the cradle. First of all, it says nothing like that in the Quran. Somebody has asked a question here about Jesus having a father. You see, the question is not... The Quran... Right, now... I'm only going by what is in the Quran. What we do is we put all the verses of the Quran in front of us about Jesus, his birth. Nowhere in the Quran, first of all, does it mention that Mary was a virgin. Nowhere. In fact, this is not even an Islamic concept to refer to Mary as the Virgin Mary. What do we have to say about these dolls? Okay, these dolls that are coming out, I don't know if you've seen them, right? That they're preparing these artificial, intelligent kind of uh, dolls that companion dolls. <laughs> I think one's called Harmony. <laughs> First of all, the ruling in Islam is, I don't think it's haram. It's a sickness in the heart. Yeah, you're watching, you're, you're somebody you're that must dying. be watching you're pornography. Dying. Views on supporting the civil rights of the LGBTQ. <laughs> Is there a Q at the end as well? <laughs> Community. Um, the thing, Hassan, is that I believe we should support their rights.
Ms. You're finished. You're finished. You're finished. You're finished. Wallahi, you're finished. Wallahi, you're finished. Don't ever come out. Any, any retraction you do now, switch off your social media. I don't want to see your face. I don't want to hear your voice. Wallahi. Wallahi, you're a crook and a fraudster. I know you think, damn, this guy's, I was hoping I'd get away with it, if it wasn't for those meddling kids. <laughs> and it would have been mine if it hadn't been to those meddling kids. But you know what? You're finished. You're finished. You're finished. You're finished. <laughs> and you wouldn't come and dare even be in the same proximity as me. And I know you know that. And that's all I have to say on the matter. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته